What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back to our continuation of Behold the Glaive of Righteousness. Well, this is right after we have knocked out the double boss. As a reminder, if you have to go back, you can interact with the horse, and that'll take you back to the previous part of the zone. Uh, but the next part of this, a lot of it is actually going to be inside of a, a tomb-type area. But anyway, first things first, take out this warlock. Once he's out of the way, we're going to go over here, drop down, and pick up a goodie. And then we're going to round the corner, take this thing out. Okay. <laughs> and get another goodie. Let's see how much is this hitting for. 357. Just killed it outright. I like it. I like to see. Uh, so the second house has nothing. The third house does have stuff. So instead of worrying about that house, focus on getting over on this guy. What do you think? Searching for my brothers, of course. I set up a base in the mountains. This hit me hard. Of everyone that passed by and interrogated them. Anyone that messed me about, I dealt with. So you've been playing bandit up in the mountains? Hardly the most constructive use of your time. <laughs> Spare me the lecture. I actually ended up being a help, since wherever I went, saw its bandits disappear. Yeah, 669. That is hitting. That is chunky. Up up here. Get up on that roof. Kill this dude. Yeah, so far this feels a lot better than the, uh, the health deflect style build that we were going for previously. We're doing some serious damage now. And we have one more enemy to blow up. And here is our tomb. Ancient Imperial tombs. Something here sends a cold shiver down my spine. No doubt it's crawling with demons from floor to ceiling. This might be messier. Than um, I know. Well, let's see. Kill the demon and continue right up on the roof for the chi crystal. So we gotta enter the tomb. There's gonna be a couple of these guys, which once again. If you have access to strong lightning abilities, uh, it's, it's going to really tear them up. God, it's insane to think I only do 15 damage. Very annoying. Well, get that chest. Once we enter into this room, what we're going to do is first thing the hands once huh. more, it would seem. Always taking out those warlocks. I uh, was just checking the note. And the other cave opening. Loop up, snipe the warlock, then kill everything. Okay. Second, this is a shortcut we'll get later. Up to finish killing everything in here. Okay, this is why. Now, I'm actually curious what a unleveled, uh, what basic, basic lightning bolt would do to these annoying enemies that I keep encountering. We'll see real fast because they should have respawned back here because I know they're very very weak to uh to lightning so let's see let's see how we do that wow wow so with literally nothing in lightning I'm getting that's actually like that's kind of wild I'll keep that on for now and actually just in case I have more of them um Hello. We need to be careful on this mission. 
Um, so I believe we go this way. Let's see, kill everything looted up. Open the door, but take the path near the warlock instead. Okay, so I look at my notes. Gotta open this. Don't proceed, though. Instead, we're going to go this way. Loot. These things have, like, enemies inside of them, so if you knock them down, there's gonna be a basic enemy that spawns, but... Um, you don't I mean, you have to knock them down or anything. You can just ignore them if you want. And then running on through. See, we have a piece of loot we can jump for here. And then once you jump back over, you'll notice that there is another pathway that we can take. Uh, this is going to lead us over to this guy. And then it's going to bring us out over here to another enemy. Uh, now, just to kind of show where exactly we're at, there's that guy right there. This right here is uh, the other room. So that's the door that we just opened. And essentially, all we are doing is we are uh, skipping a couple of the, the stone soldiers. So. Less pain in the ass to fight. It's for the sake of keeping all of our doors open. Go ahead and pop this one open. Honestly, the fact that Hong Jing spawned in with the uh, 25 morale. Hong Jing, use your, use your lightning powers, come on. Uh, so right here, this is where we're going to go, but before we do that, go into this we take the red path right here. No, never mind. It's next. It's that that's the one I'm thinking of. Uh, red path go through here. Go. And then this should lead us around to the note. There we go. That is the third and final note. You can see we're right back where we started. Now we're gonna go this way. Except we're going to turn and go up. This was the turn I was looking for. This is going to take us over here to marking flag number four. We head on over this way. You'll notice two big dudes over there. Ignore them for now. That is the, the way to progress, but for now at least we're going to hop up top. Um, drop right here kick down this ladder, which honestly probably isn't that important, but in the event that you die, why not? At least you have it now. Uh, after that, go ahead and shoot an icicle into that thing's bum. Over here. Some loot. Some beta shell and the dragon powder, and hop up top to get a large gentleman. Interesting. Almost at the end of our, our cicada journeys. Only a few more left. So now we need to take out these two, these big guys. Uh, fortunately, they don't play by the rules the other terracotta soldiers do. So I can just use my regular stuff to annihilate them. And with both of them dead, this will then open up. Well, I mean, you can run, it'll open up beforehand. Anyway, you, you know what I'm talking about. Um, so from here, I'm going to go up. Mr. Warlock wants to die first. Without hesitation, my blade is always at your service. It's good to know. Up across here. We're gonna run this way. Get that hairpin. And we're gonna jump up here. Now you can plunge this thing. I would not suggest doing so. Now instead, we're just gonna blow it up with magic. If you don't have magic, just ignore it. We'll get back to it in a little bit. Instead, go this way, and right around the corner, and there's a baby waiting for you, which we're gonna take out. And then we're also gonna get a chest. And then we're going to drop on down and get this battle plan. That we're gonna open this up. 
And this part doesn't seem like it should work, but it does. So, let's pop up. Pop up. Pop up. Dragon Bane Crystal. Pop up on top of that. We got that crystal. And then we're just going to hit the punch attack again. And toss out some ice. And smash and finish things. See, some of the crystals are now dropping from the ceiling. And at this point, we're just going to clear this room out. We're just going to kill everything that's still alive in here. We're still existing. Uh, we got some of these dudes. Oh, Jane. We'll put some magic into this dude. Sacred Lotus. Uh, if we hadn't killed it already, we would have the porcupine over in here. Then we have the chest. I believe that's it. Let me check. Um, tablet 3, go straight for marking 4, turn and drop to put the ladder for the shortcut. Spiny boy, cicada shell, and big chi, return and kill two big boys to the boy. Uh, dragon thingy loot above plunge, slash you kill the leftovers. Okay. But yeah, we are clear. Let's proceed along into the camp. And we're going to be, uh, you can see there's like a big barrier, so we're just going to be working through the camp. Uh, we're just going to be going clockwise. And there's not a lot of loot here, but there, there are a couple, so. Threat and evasion. Oh, they had invasions. Player this player invasions turned off at least. Oh well, let's see what happens. Kill that guy. Um, yeah, I'm really liking the changes we made. It was just focused on ice. So right here, pick up the rank nine steel, and then over there. Expert of Wizardry, Gongsan. Yeah, that is that is a player for sure, huh? Reasons why hostile players. I don't know when that turned back on, but whatever. We'll fight him in a second. He's uh, he's over there. Um, over here we can get a little piece of loot. Go up here. Get up there to get the Coral Crossbow. He doesn't want to come over here. I don't blame him. Watch this guy. I hate that toxic cloud thing. It's so strong, dude. Oh, man. I'm dead. Oh, God. What am I doing? I'm dead. It's too late. Wow. Screwed myself by having, uh... I still... I haven't had to heal in so long. When I went to heal, I had on the, uh... Together, we stride into oh, battle. man. I had on the thing that, that you, um... You send away your reinforcements with. That completely screwed me over. I was like, oh, I need to... No! Oh, wrong menu. Just, uh... Ah, what a waste. What a waste. But yeah, well, I mean, got to see how good the Venom Snare is. Like I said, very, very strong. Honestly, it's kind of insane how strong Venom Snare is when you compare the uh, the effectiveness of all of the other poison spells. Venom Snare is actually just nuts. I mean, I don't think I have much in terms of metal defense on this build. No, I don't. But yeah, still, that was like a terrifying amount of damage. Just, it wasn't even a, like, it didn't even feel like an invasion. It just felt like I just died. Was, wait, what? No, it's over. So I should run ahead and worry about some of this stuff. This guy. Oh, 
I believe it was a piece of loot corner. Yep. We have this and then a chest. got turned on. So I want to say we turned it off like ages ago. It's really weird. I mean, I love invasions. Don't get me wrong. Just not when I'm in the middle of taking uh, and doing the walkthrough episodes because that's, that's just superfluous. It's a waste of time. Alright, and with that we have our battle flag. Uh, proceed over clockwise. The tall structure is pulled so that there's steel. The last of this chest and boss. Okay. Uh, so, let's go ahead and spend some stuff. To talk about the boss, we are up against Liu Bei. Uh, he is a enhanced version of the one you had dueled. He's going to be doing a lot of uh, lightning damage, so our set will hopefully help us out more than it did when we were fighting uh, Zhang Liao. Uh, now, a couple things with him. He will like throw these lightning balls that will create expanding circles on the ground. So it's going to be like, you deflect him, and then you deflect, and then you deflect. You're going to see multi-deflects going off a lot, but it's uh, due to environmental type stuff. He has a, like, charging critical attack that's pretty rare. I've seen it, like, once in roughly four different instances of fighting him. Uh, in phase two, he has one where he'll fly up in the air and send dark energy blades at you that you can deflect and send back to him. Uh, honestly, this fight's kind of annoying. He flies around a lot, though. So let's just, let's, we're going to jump into it. A big part of this fight is going to be empowering the NPCs and letting them take care of a lot of the damage. Uh, if you can get in damage on him, it's great. But for the most part, I'm just going to stay in the middle and reflect so you can see the lightning rings coming in. This is how I'm talking about with the environmental. But he likes to fly around and it's a lot more just deflected stuff left and right in this fight. Um, he's also, you can't hurt him with, uh, with shock, despite him being, you know, what you would think is lightning man. Are you down already? Uh, hit to get the damage in is going to be one of your best friends here. We'll try and metal him up here. He's going to phase two. We're going to try and get a little bit of move into him before he gets a little extra annoying. Should send him away and resummon him. No wonder why he's only 20. That's why he's getting his ass beat. So he should go for the. This fight is kind of just letting him come to me and I'm looking for opportunities like to capitalize. Ooh, he actually went for the charge critical. Ah, I honestly, I would have preferred to show y'all the uh, the sword deflect critical. He almost like that's the I think that's the second time I've actually seen the charge one there. Like, even when we were prepping, I was like, oh, he does, I think he does a charge attack. I haven't seen the charge attack. to empower King Long. And we get a bunch of goodies for taking him on out. It's loading up. 
Taking a minute to load up, but we are essentially making our way onto final real battlefield. Undo. But before we do that, we have a couple other side quests that we need to get to. And honestly, I'm thinking I might need to fit them into their own episode because we got Sultan Wu Chao, Fearless Blade, and Let's Make Our Armor Shine. Both this and this are like probably 10 minute missions on their own. Uh, but let's head back to the, the hidden village real fast because you should finally have enough steel to upgrade a weapon all the way up to level 9. Only going to have enough for one at the moment, so whatever your favorite is, go ahead and pick it. Uh, in terms of what's left, honestly, any moving forward, uh, the the bosses that remain, like story bosses, are um, like multi. I, I don't know. Basically, any any build is going to work fine against them. Uh, let's see what we got here, though. Endless flowering and bamboo sever. Oh my god. Oh man. I, I mean, I, a Beckoning pine, pine is nice, but Bamboo Sever is like one of my favorite abilities. Yeah, we're going to have to level those up all the way. But for those that are, aren't sure what I'm talking about here. So right now we have, uh, you know, our, our side dash here. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Ones that just dropped have Bamboo Sever, which is... Uh, you just jump, boom, boom. It's very fast. It's incredibly fast. It's one of the... Uh, basically one of the fastest it's just it's very fast very good so i'm going to be swapping that up uh, but besides that we are pretty much good here so yeah wrap up next episode we will have uh one chow make our armor shine and feel this blade i'm going to go ahead and some more sleep maybe i'm overworking these all the way to replace the swords that i have get to the keen edge trophy uh, and then I'll also be able to salvage the other ones and unlock them and you can see I'll get both the flame enchant as well as the spirit vulnerability off uh, by salvaging that I'm gonna add back on uh, but either way I'm gonna put that on my sword and we're gonna be ready to go so stay tuned and I'll catch you as soon as we continue <laughs> 